Lights. Picture. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Good morning, Mary Sunshine. How's your head? Every hotel in town's loaded. Thought I might be a little help. On three, Monsieur. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. If you don't give up, I'll see that every one of you hang. Don't try any funny business, say, though, because I ain't never shot a man yet, but uh, I got an awful itchy trigger finger. Nobody hurt, no fights, no nothing. There ain't going to be no fight either. I know these guys. I know what they're planning right now. Listen, I can pick an alky with one eye shut. You're an alky. You'll come back. They all do. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Roll with those punches till your head clears. Hey, we're a little mixed up here. I think the fellow over at the gas station gave us the wrong steer. It's little animals. Little tiny turkeys in straw hats. Midget monkeys coming through the keyholes. Russians, Chinese, Hungarians, Turks, Armenians, Arabs, Slavs, Austrian, and Serbs. Hackers, Edison, Anderson, Appleby, Bassett, Bliss. No, there's no Miss Adams working here. It's the same speech he's been given for the last nine years. Lady, you're next. Excuse me. Why, Diane? Go on, Peter, before I run you in. No, siree. If they can get a fighter going, they can call in the cops. Bert, the cops sent this over. How can you be calm when you're sitting right in the middle of 2,500 guys and every one of them just waiting a chance to stick a shiv in your back? I'd say Morgan won on a technical knockout. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make an announcement here for the management. If you'll all just move in closer so you can hear me. That's right. Get right down here. This is the great melting pot you've heard so much about. This is the great American hamburger grinder. I now call your particular attention to those gray forbidding walls upon my right here. Now, those of you who have not yet purchased a $2 ticket have but five minutes left in which to do so. And now, folks, for the regular Rose Garden contest. And will all the palookas and clucks kindly save their shoe leather and our time by sitting this one out? Quiet, quiet. Now, get this. It's from London. Barney speaking. So as I'm telling you, see, here I am with these two beautiful dames. Boy, what equipment. <laughs> anyway, they're hanging around my neck and they're begging me not to go, see? And she was plenty scared and acting very peculiar, indeed. There's the first shot. Here's the other five here. How's this for good news? 310,196. The odds are 10 to 1 you'll never get to Miami through this stuff. Yeah, if we get a full take before 6, we're lucky. It's gonna be kind of tough to see that steel dame drag down that 15 G's. Boy, what wouldn't I give for a good dose of hay fever? You couldn't scoop me with a shovel and a yard full of sand. It sure looks like the fat's in the fire this time. Now you guys dig up the dough or off you go at the next stop. Yeah, your old man talked funny. Practically busted a blood vessel doing it. Yours too. Why didn't you tell me that you're leaving the show, not going on the road? We better keep our eye on this guy. He's bats. Look, buddy, why don't you forget about these subways? In the first place, you'll have to take the shuttle, then you'll have to take an express, and then you have to take a local. But anyway, I'm cruising around in my cab this morning, see, when this fancy dame hails me, and I drive her over here. Why don't you just jump in the cab here and leave the details to me? No, you better ride up front. And for the carriage, see, I put on my hat. So, you think I was talking to my hat, huh? What's the matter? I'm head to the Central Committee over there, I gotta know. I'm a nurse, name is Nolan, they call me Vim. Look, bud, what's the idea? I live in a shack in Pottersfield. My wife ran away three years ago and took the kid, and I ain't never seen you before in my life, see? Well, go someplace and sit down and talk this thing out. Calm and sensible-like. What do you say? I'm drunk. Go for a little drink. Bert here's got some pre-war ride. I've heard some dillies in my years on this road, but this one wins the marbles. It's like the doctor was just telling me. Delirium is a disease of the night. Good night. Well, let's get going, boys. Hello, Hi. Rand. How are you? Hi, Hi Jack. Commissioner. How are you? Nice seeing you, Bill. Barrett. 